A cushion is a soft bag of some ornamental material, usually stuffed with wool, hair, feathers, polyester, staple, fiber, non-woven material, or even paper torn into fragments. It may be used for sitting or kneeling, kneeling upon, or to soften the hardness or angularity of a chair or a couch. Decorative cushions often have a patterned cover material and are used as decoration for furniture. Today, cushions as we know them are soft and used to provide support and comfort to your back or head when sitting on a sofa or a lounge chair and also used to add color texture and pattern to our living rooms and bedrooms. Like in past times, cushions are available in a wide range of shapes and sizes with a variety of fittings and covers to suit our homes and our decorating styles. Leather is still used to cover cushions. However, rather than being hard and uncomfortable, today the softest lasers are used to provide us with both style and comfort. Hello, hello dear viewers. I'm Chernet and welcome back to our channel again. Today we have brought to you modern, comfortable, cushioned or padded wooden chair ideas. This video contains a collection of modern, cushioned, padded or upholstered wooden chair ideas or designs which you can copy and duplicate at your own workshop. You can pick your favorite design and try to make it at home or show it to your local workshop so that they can make one for you. You can even turn these plans or designs into a lucrative small-scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. So we advise you to watch the video until the end and choose an inspiring design for your next project. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to the channel and smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. Today, the cushion is considered an upholstery item. The first cushions were stuffed or filled with straw, reeds, and feathers. And while today feather cushions can still be bought, it's more typical to have synthetic or man-made fiber as fillings. These synthetic materials enable cushion inners to be laundered relatively easily, are far cheaper, and of those of course give a choice of density and softness. Today, cushions have a covered place over the inner, giving us an endless variety of fabrics, color and designs. You can use just about any type of fabric to make a cushion cover and choose whether you want it embellished or plain to suit the room and your personality. As outdoor areas and patios are now considered extensions of our living area, outdoor furniture can also be enhanced with cushions. Cushions for outdoor use usually have a synthetic fiber covering, such as PVC or oil cloth fabric, or are made with fabric which has been given a weather-resistant finish. While PVC makes the cushions somewhat shower-proof, they can stick to bare skin in hot days. Interior designers regard cushions as a must-have soft furnishing for living areas and bedrooms due to their ability to add the all-important finishing touches without having to cost a fortune. There aren't many living rooms these days that don't have at least one cushion on the armchair or sofa. Many people consider homes without cushions to be homes without a heart and soul. Cushions are there to give us physical comfort and visual pleasure, as well as adding character and style to our homes. So, make sure you have a range of fabulous cushions to bring a sense of style and comfort to your chairs and sofa. 
the earliest known is Sirica, 7000 BC, in the early civilizations of Mesopotamia. Cushions were related to status. The more you own, the more affluent you were seen to be. In a time of discomfort for the majority, to be comfortable was to be wealthy. Although no cushions survive from this period, as we are able to ascertain their style and usage from ancient wall art. As dyes and fabrics were very expensive, cushions became individual pieces of art that represented the taste and wealth of the owner. In Europe, the tradition of cushion usage derived from the classic Greek and Roman usage. Stuffing their cushions with straw, feathers, and reeds, they created cushions akin to those we still use today. They had large cushions for reclining or smaller cushions for chairs, cushions for sleeping. Like many everyday items that were once luxurious, cushions and pillows began to appear throughout middle class homes during the 19th century. The Industrial Revolution brought about efficiencies in weaving, dyeing, and fabric that began to make one luxury cushions available to a wider audience. The Victorian Britain cushions played a traditional role of adding comfort and style to couches and chairs. During the 20th century, cushion usage became even wider and more experimental. As homes became more modern and relaxed, cushions became popular. Travel also played a role as people began to visit Asia, they discovered and brought back traditional Asian chair cushions. So mass production and globalization made the once luxury cushion an everyday item. One of the basic pieces of furniture, a chair is a type of seat. Its primary features are two pieces of durable material attached as back and seat to one another at 90 degree or slightly greater angle, with usually the four corners of the horizontal seat attached in turn to four legs. The legs are typically high enough for the seated person's thighs and knees to form a 90 degree or less angle. Used in a number of rooms and homes, in schools and offices, and in various other workplaces, chairs may be made of wood, metal, or synthetic materials, and either the seat alone or the entire chair may be padded or upholstered in various colors and fabrics. Chairs vary in design. An armchair has armrests fixed to the seat. A recliner is upholstered and under its seat is a mechanism that allows one to lower the chair's back and raise into place. Chairs can be made from wood, metal or other strong materials like acrylic. In some cases, multiple materials are used to construct a chair. For example, the legs and frame may be made from metal and the seat and back may be made from plastic. Chairs may have hard surfaces of wood, metal, plastic or other materials. For some or all of these, hard surfaces may be covered with upholstery or padding. Chair design considers intended usage ergonomics or how comfortable it is for the occupant as well as non-ergonomic functional requirements such as size, stacking ability, folding ability, weight, durability, stain resistance and artistic design. Ergonomic design distributes the weight of the occupant to various parts of the body. This is done by having an easily adjustable seat height. A seat that is higher results in a dangling feet and increased pressure on the underside of the knees. It may also result in no weight on the feet which means more weight elsewhere. 
a lower seat may shift too much weight to a seat bones to the seat bones Polystered furniture is cushioned, soft and versatile, not to mention found in just about any living space, from the bed to the dining chairs to the sofa. In its most basic form, a polystry refers to the materials including the padding, webbing, coil springs, polyurethane foam and fabric that make up the soft coverings of furniture. These soft coverings often provide cushion, cushioning for seating for added comfort, saving us from having to stretch out and rest on an exposed wood coach at the end of a long day. The word upholstery dates all the way back to the Middle Ages and is derived from the Middle English word upholder, which referred to a tradesman or artisan who held up their goods. At the very outset, Upholsters would affix animal skins to a wooden framework using nails. That practice eventually evolved to including padding, loose cushions and pillows that were stuffed with materials like animal hair, typically horse hair. Upholstered furniture has steadily grown in popularity over the past several centuries for a number of reasons. For one, softness. Upholstery adds a lovely visual softness to any room. Whether it is your bed or your sofa, the cushion fabric gives off a, a warm and cozy vibe, practically begging you to snuggle in. The comfort factor is a major one. It also, it almost goes without saying that an upholstered sofa or chair is likely preferable to a wooden sofa, particularly if you plan to spend any more than 5 minutes on it. Upholstery is unmatched in versatility. Upholstered furniture is incredibly and easily customizable on multiple different dimensions, shape, color, and fabric. Upholstered furniture can be customized to match any color scheme. Regarding fabrics, you are able to choose a material, velvet, linen, printed cotton, silk, suit, and so on. Choosing the best upholstery fabric can feel daunting at first but with a few guiding questions, you'll be pointed in the right direction. What style or vibe am I going for? An earthy organic vibe may lean you in a direction of a leather or crisp, neutral linen, whereas a glamorous luxury style could steer you towards a soft velvet. What is the usage? In other words, where will this piece be in your home? and how much usage will it get. If it is a sofa in the living room that no one ever steps foot on, foot in, the visual effect may be more important than comfort, and you could take a risk of a less durable fabric. But, but if it's a dining room chair where you eat diner, dinner every night, then a fabric that resists to sustains may be more preferable. The other factor we consider is the budget. What is my budget? This will determine just how high quality you go on the fabrics. However, remember that you don't need to spend a fortune to get a quality upholstery.
With such a variety of options, there are no limits to the cushioned or padded chairs and their design potential. They could be made budget-friendly or highly expensive based on the design and materials used. As you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of beautiful cushion chair design ideas for your inspiration. If you like such content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. And also smash that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our, video, in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.